Okay, welcome to the product rule. And, you know, let's see here. Let me, um, let me see if I can't uh, just write down an example here real quick uh, of the product rule. How about 2x... Um, okay, um, hopefully you haven't seen anything that looks like this yet, okay? Um, you know, we, we, we know how to take the derivative of 2x, it's just 2. Uh, we know how to take the derivative of sine x, then, you know, maybe we, maybe we know the chain rule too, maybe we don't. Um, I, I, I kind of got lost in the sequence of this, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go over it, but... You know, um, you know, the product rule is basically, I'm just going to write it over here. Because I never really memorized the chain rule or the, or, or I, I never uh, really memorized the product rule or the quotient rule. I, I just, just from, I mean, I, I memorize them, but what I would always do is every time I came up to, uh, you know, my paper, I would just write it at the top. F prime, F prime times G plus G prime times F, you know? And, and if I was taking a test, I'd just write it at the top of my page and be done with it. And then I, I wouldn't have to pull it out every single time. It is, is kind of what it seemed like I was doing. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't, but that's how I did it, okay? So, and then what, what the goal is, is you want to treat this like F prime, okay? And then you want to treat you know, the other guy, like G. Or actually not F prime, just F and G, okay? So, what's F prime then? Here, let me write Y prime over there. So if I, so if I want to find the derivative of this, I gotta use my formula. So, this, you know, first uh, little product right here, 2X, and you'll just have to get it good at recognizing, you know, and, and deciphering these. I just know from experience. Uh, but but 2x, you know, it looks like I gotta take the derivative of f, so derivative of f times regular g, plus derivative of g times regular f, you know, and I just kind of write it over there, you know. I, just, I actually, I, I remembered the jingle and not the actual formula, so that's kind of how that went. So here we go, derivative of f, well that's just 2, and I put everything in parentheses, times regular g, plus g prime, well that's cosine of x squared times, you know, chain rule, 2x, and then regular f, which is also 2x, okay? So let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit, and we get 2 sine of x squared plus 4x squared cosine x squared. Okay, so we got that like that. So that, that's that's a good example of the product rule. Um, let's do another one. Let's go. I don't know. Let's go y equals. Okay, all right, let's try that one. Um, actually, kind of a bad one uh, because I can I can easily change this back into a, a regular problem. So let's try and do that. Let's uh, let's see if we can get around the chain rule real quick. Okay, let's go and let's uh, six times twelve. Six times 12, oh my god, I need my calculator for that. What is it, 72? Okay, it's 72, all right, I just wanna make sure. Okay, now we could go ahead and distribute this, then we have a nice, pretty derivative, but let's go ahead and use the chain rule. You know, I mean, that's what we're trying to learn, just to show you that it works each time. I'm gonna call that F. I'm going to call this G. So what's the derivative of F? That's 3 times 72. 3 times 7 is 21. So what is that? Uh, 210, 216. 
216, yes. Remember. Okay, so I got that. Of course, you got to write your Y prime there. Times regular G, which is just X plus 1. Plus G prime, which looks like that's just 1. Times regular F. So what did we end up with? We ended up with... Okay, you see that? I just uh, I did I just did a distributive property. I just took this and I multiplied it in. Okay, plus seventy two x to the third. Okay, so it looks like I can add these together, and that's going to be what eighty eight two eighty eight. Is it two eighty eight? Yeah, two eighty eight. Maybe I could factor it, but really not a big deal. So now I got in there and I did that. So let's uh, let's go take this and let's see if uh, the 72 let's see if this uh, checks out. I, I, I hope it does. Is that right? Yeah, let's see if this checks out if we just use it the old-fashioned way. So, if we distribute the 73 in there, what do we end up with? We end up with 72x to the 4th plus 72x to the 3rd. Okay. So, y prime is going to equal 4 times 72x to the 3rd plus 3, 72x to the second. Oops. The parentheses goes out there. Let me let me rewrite that just so um, you know I'm not in, in violation of any laws. Okay, so we got that. So let's go. Uh, 4 times 72, that's what, 280 plus 8, 288, should be 288, let me just, um, yes it is, it's two, 288, x to the third, plus 372, that should be 216, 3 times 72, yep, that's 216, x to the squared, that's what we had there, right, right? Had them both. So, so you can see that, you know, they kind of counter complement each other. <laughs> Made that word up. But, you know, we could have done it either way, you know. Um, and, and that's actually a good thing. I, I didn't mean, I made this problem up, so we kind of, we kind of got derailed. Um, I didn't mean it for it to end up turning into a simple problem. But I do want to point out that sometimes um, that's good. You know, I mean, come test day, you know, you, you could probably use whatever method you feel comfortable with, you know, if, 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 um, I mean, you know, say something really crazy was inside of there, you know, we might have wanted to go ahead and do it with the chain rule, um, and the product rule. Um, you know, maybe we, maybe we, we wanted it to be a term by term expression, you know, and it, and it, seriously, it'll depend, you know, sometimes it'll be, it'll be much easier and, user friendly to do it one method than the other so I mean it's actually kind of good that we ended up uh, with a problem that we could have you know applied dual technique to so um, I this is probably all that I'll do for now um, if you if you if you want to if you like my style and you want to hear some more just let me know I mean I'd, I'd, I'd love to help out so um, see ya, see you in the uh, you know see you see in some other videos of product rules and derivatives and stuff